In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. This morning, this Mass is offered for Linda Weston, Michael Hill, and Carol Campbell. Let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, as we see how the nativity of your Son, according to the flesh, draws near, we pray that to us, your unworthy servants, mercy may flow from your word, who choose to become flesh of the Virgin Mary and establish among us his dwelling. Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts, but who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie, he will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as of years gone by. Lo, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the day of the Lord comes, the great and terrible day, to turn the hearts of the fathers to their children and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the land with doom. The word of the Lord. Amen. Responsorial Psalm. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice, he teaches the humble his way. The heads and see, redemption is near at hand. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy toward those who keep his covenant and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him and his covenant for their instruction. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. O King of all nations and keystone of the church, come and save whom you formed from the dust. 
Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel of Luke. When the time came, when the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy toward her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one among you or relatives who has this name. So they made signs asking his father what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name. And all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and he spoke, blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord is with him. The Gospel of the Lord. Spirit, and also they invited God to their lives. Today we see Elizabeth who gave birth to a son, to John. And we know that for God everything is possible, especially when we see the life of Elizabeth and her age. Question is, what does it mean for me, Christmas? Even the Christmas, you know, the word Christmas is not deep enough. What does it mean for you, the time when Jesus is coming to this world? What does it mean for you in your life when the child is born? Because every year we are celebrating the time of Jesus' is born, but I believe that every year we can lose the sense of this nativity. Christmas is not about manger, Christmas tree, present, and nothing. This is not about this. Every year we are not celebrating the Christmas, the Christmas for this reason to 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 what to <laughs> just spend this day 25th together because of Christ. Kind of it is. Christmas is about one reason. To allow Christ to born in you. This is the Christmas. So every year we have to ask if we are really allowed to Christ to born in us. Because then if he is born in us, we can be Christians. We can celebrate the time of his nativity without his presence in our lives, in our hearts, in our minds. Just everything doesn't make any sense. 
And we can see that around us. Without Christmas, without Christ, Christmas doesn't make any sense. And I'm so happy that some people are saying happy holidays because they don't believe that this, this season is about Christ. But we who are Catholics, who are Christians, we have to keep going saying not only Merry Christmas. What does it mean Merry Christmas? For me, European means nothing. Have a blessed time of Christmas. Don't forget using the word blessed. I wish all of us, my friends, that we have a special place in our hearts for Him. Because this is the reason that He came to the world. He came to born in you, to change your life. You see, when Mary was open for God's words, for the Holy Spirit, when Elizabeth was open for the God's will, God's presence, God changed their lives. Christ came, Jesus came to change our lives. So don't be afraid to share the good news, to say to people, Blessed Christmas. I wish you blessed Christmas. Because this is everything. The season is about His blessing. He came here to give us not merry, not happy, but blessed time with His presence. Amen. As we look forward to celebrating the coming of the infant Jesus, we join our hearts in prayer and present our petition to the Father. For Pope, Fra <coughs> Pope Francis and all the clergy, may God give them a spiritual and physical strength to minister to God's people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For our world, May Christ's peace touch the hearts of leaders and lead them to harmony. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For those who are alone during this time of rejoicing, may God show them his tender love and inspire others to reach out to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For this faith community, may the grace of the sacraments nurture and strengthen the bonds of charity among us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For those who have died, may God welcome them into their eternal home in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Loving Father, we present our prayers to you as we look forward with gratitude to celebrating the gift of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are all good of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of one hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are all the double creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine of you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, to become for us our spiritual drink. Amen. 
Pray, brother, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation by which divine worship in its fullness has been inaugurated for us be our perfect reconciliation with you, O Lord, that we may celebrate with minds made pure the nativity of our Redeemer, who lives and reigns forever and never. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is to be right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 heaven and earth are full of your glory. You are indeed for you, Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore the gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon the light of your form, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mister of Faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered in the one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be chorus to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us now share a sign of peace between us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. 
If anyone hears my voice and opens the door to me, I will enter his house and dine with him and he with me. Let us pray. Grant your peace, O Lord, to those you have nourished with the, this heavenly gifts, that we may be ready with lighted lamps to meet your dearly beloved Son at his coming, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Just a quick reminder, tomorrow morning Mass is... We have no morning Mass, we have a celebration of the Vision Nativity of Christ at 3 p.m., 5 p.m. and 10 p.m. So, tonight also, uh, all of us, everyone is invited for the Christmas Advent concert. Uh, and also, be ready to open the door when he knocks. This is about Christmas, because he is near and he's going to be born. He wants to be born in our hearts. It is our wish, our will and our opportunity to open the door. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.